dear students welcome to climate change basics 3 class now in this class we are going to discuss three very very interesting practically useful topics and sub topics these three are impacts of climate change on regional and national level agriculture specific weather related effects due to climate change on crops and crop planning for climate change at various levels okay just yes. before going into the class i would like to share with you for a minute a small very interesting story this story is on a grasshopper and ass an ass having heard grasshopper's chirping was highly enchanted and uh, desiring to possess the same charms of melody of grasshopper's chirping it demanded what sort of food the grasshoppers lived on to give them such beautiful voices the grasshoppers replied the dew d e w dew in hindi we call it as shabnam okay the grasshoppers replied they live on dew immediately the ass resolved that he would live only upon dew what happened in a short time the ass died of hunger the inference is known to you thank you good now so let's go into the class so the first sub topic of today's climate change basic 3 is impacts of climate change on regional and national level agriculture now roughly 40% of the world population lives in tropics and agriculture is a very important sector in these tropics climate change has significant negative impact in the tropics similarly the arid and semi arid regions account for approximately 30% of the world total area inhabited by approximately 1.1 billion people the projected climate change cause land degradation due to growing population pressures thereby crop yields now increased soil temperatures up to 60 degree centigrade it is soil temperature when air temperature is say 35 degree centigrade the soil temperatures would be more than 35 if air temperature is 40 certainly take it for granted the soil temperatures would be 60 degrees and above irrespective of the type of the soil now increased soil temperatures up to 60 not air temperatures once again i am trying to impress upon you increased soil temperatures up to 60 degree centigrade cause uh, enzymatic degradation which limit photosynthesis and growth in crop plants now increased air and soil temperatures together will also result in increased rates of potential evapotranspiration thereby reduced crop yields if irrigation facilities are not developed if irrigation facilities are developed or available the scenario is different however in areas where 40% of the world population lives in tropics and 30% of the total area inhabited by population of 1.1 billion in arid and semi arid regions irrigation facilities are not available or developed therefore air and soil temperatures play an important role to say negative role okay 
enhanced soil temperature enhanced air temperature or increased soil temperature or increased air temperature play negative role because the enzyme degradation limits the photosynthesis thereby the growth in the crop plants okay now increased rates of potential evapotranspiration also reduce the grain yields or crop yields now if you see due to increase in soil temperatures the crop establishment become very difficult what is meant by crop establishment when we plow the soil primary tillage secondary tillage seed bed preparation sowing of the seeds now when we keep the seed in the soil it germinates after that it emerges now what is meant by establishment is the emergence of the crop from the seed we take generally into the aspect of establishment of the crop so due to increased air and soil temperatures the crop establishment become absolutely difficult in the tropics arid and semi arid regions together 40 plus 30 70% of the world total area okay is affected by this particular air and soil temperature related reduced yields now the projected increase in frequency and severity of extreme events like floods cyclones droughts will adversely impact crops areas in mid and high latitudes that means when you go away from the equator both north and southern side mid and high latitude near areas they experience increases in crop yields to some extent whereas the yields decrease in the lower latitudes lower latitudes means again 40% of the population living in tropics 30% of the population living in arid and semi arid regions together 70% however and mid and high latitude areas may experience some sort of increase in the crop yields coming to the cropping season as well as the duration of the growing period of the crops these are also affected by climate change for example in rice crop spikelet sterility it may reduce yields of the rice research results found that every 1 degree centigrade increase in air temperature not soil temperature reduces approximately 1 ton 1 ton 100 kg every 1 degree centigrade 1 ton or 100 kg imagine so in the rice crop similarly in asia sorghum in rain fed areas of india maize yields in philippines tea industry of sri lanka are supposed to be affected when both air and soil temperatures are increased due to climate change agriculture production in the lower latitudes and lower income countries may be significantly affected that means again arid semi arid areas the frequency intensity of droughts will have larger impacts on the sub humid than on humid region usually in the humid regions water availability will be there however in sub humid areas of course the frequency and intensity of droughts will definitely have negative impact changes in pest ecology may result more damage to the crops higher temperatures in winter will result in higher pathogens and uh, finally the effects of uh, climate change on livestock is uh, categorized into four ways the availability of 
food grain the price of food grain or feed grain impacts on livestock pastures and forage crops the direct effects of weather and extreme events on animal health growth and reproduction finally changes in the distribution of livestock diseases these four once again i would like to impress upon you not only on the crops in the arid semi arid regions humid and sub humid regions but also on the livestock availability of food or feed price of food or feed impacts on livestock pastures and forage crops direct effects of weather and climate extremes may cause negative impacts on the animal health their growth and reproduction of course finally changes in the distribution of uh, livestock diseases this is uh, uh, in a nutshell the impacts of climate change on regional and national level agriculture now so let us go to another small subheading very very interesting specific weather related effects due to climate change specific weather related effects due to climate change first one impacts of climate change at the regional level at the national level general now specifically let us go what are the specific weather related effects due to climate change just uh, to easily understand by you i have divided uh, the specific weather related effects due to climate change into three number one temperature effects two water availability three elevated co2 effects these three very interesting all these three in one minute in a very simple way i will explain to you temperature effects rising night time temperature can lead to decrease in crop yields how and why during the day time the photosynthesis occurs in the crop lands photosynthetes are produced if night time temperatures are moderate or less the photosynthetes utilization during the night time respiration is usually less however due to climate change rising night time temperature certainly is leading to decrease in crop yields very interesting scientific phenomena is increasing daytime temperature is increasing the growing season length of the crop increase in daytime temperature is increasing the growing season length of the crop for example a crop has to be grown in an area the duration of the crop is from sowing germination emergence okay crop stand establishment to harvesting is 100 days but due to increase in the date and temperature the growing season length of the crop may be 110 to 120 days so the farmer has to keep the money as input to maintain the crop the extra 10 or 20 days see the negative impact of uh, temperature on climate change next one is the water availability the c4 crops require less water per gram of carbon assimilated than c3 crop for example a crop like sorghum and maize should be more tolerant for water stress uh, than other cereal crops so c4 crops require less water per gram of carbon dioxide assimilation than c3 crops under the climate change scenarios so example crops are sorghum and maize now enhanced or elevated co2 effects as i said in the lecture number 2 basics the elevated atmosphere carbon dioxide elevated atmospheric carbon monoxide elevated or enhanced hydrofluorocarbon perfluorocarbon what not nitrous oxide these are all having negative negative impact on global warming now how the elevated co2 affects the crops the elevated atmospheric co2 usually will have a fertilization effect fertilization effect 
will increase the crop biomass very good but the research results are showing that crop biomass may be increasing because of the fertilization effect but not necessarily the crop quality crop quality is very important here so in an ideal condition we can say that photosynthesis can increase 30 to 50 percent for c3 plants and by 10 to 25 percent for the c4 plants so these are the specific weather related effects due to climate change on the crop let us go to the third subtopic of the class today crop planning for climate change at various levels now we tried to understand impacts of climate change on agriculture specific weather related effects and we must not and should not be worried about once we have a crop plan like this number one at the global level number two at the national and region levels number three local level number four at the farm level what are the plannings to counter or to mitigate or to adapt or to lessen the impacts of climate change are now at the global level shifting the centers of crop production this is the best option and the second best option is uh, plant and animal breeding for heat and drought tolerance these two aspects shall be addressed at the global level at the national and regional levels land allocation labor supply and demand balance of food and uh, cash or non food crops policy to support farm level adaptation plant and animal breeding for heat and drought tolerance as in the case of global level will address uh, the problem of negative impacts of climate change at the national and regional level coming to local level type of farming crop rotations mixed cropping balance of food and commercial crops like national and regional levels and water management if we take care of these issues we can combat the negative impact of climate change finally at the farm level in addition to what i just half minute back told local level if we go for varietal selection better animal breed timing or sowing windows of a particular variety and water conservation we can conserve our uh, things required for better yields of the crop now to sum up in this class we tried to understand these three the impacts of climate change on regional and national level on agriculture specific weather related effects due to climate change on crops and finally crop planning for climate change at various levels now a, a request to all my beloved students that please do not forget to share the content with your friends and classmates just to share the knowledge also do like comment and subscribe for more videos which are educative and informative thanking you may god bless you